nigga tolerate on me. Get a green and they say that on me. He'll cake go from one to three. He'll cake got a need for speed. Pushing that cake, yeah, I feel that muzzy. Getting them blues, I turn to a V. None of these dudes ain't fucking with me. Pushing that hell can't pass my C. Crash go by me another one. Run up on me, I got hella guns. Get money, I got hella funds. Big bird, we got hella guns. Clutters of metal, those home bro. Border is red like a bro. Hell can't come through, better move. Hell can't go through. So, hey, what's happening, Molly Game Boy? It's your boy Molly, man. Back with another video, back with another banger, back with one of the dopest videos I've ever seen in your life, man. So today, uh, for the get right, get out the house, do a little moving around. It is the day after Christmas, man. So I hope everybody had an amazing Christmas, some way, shape, form, or fashion. Hope you enjoyed your family, enjoyed some good food. I did. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people be like, oh, I don't celebrate. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? I mean, use it as a time to get around your family and just enjoy some positive good. And if you don't have no family, enjoy the off day. I'm pretty sure you got some off days from work. If you didn't, at least get some good food in your system. You know what I'm saying? I mean, on, on discount. Hopefully on discount. But today, look at this, bro. Oh, my God. Before I get deep, deep into the video, I got to go and get this car clean ASAP because you can see it's super dirty. It's been raining. It's been cold. So I haven't had the time to stop and just get it washed, which I'm going to go do that right now before I even get too deep into the video. I actually have to go and drop something off first. But once I do that, then we'll get this car washed. And then we'll get straight into the Look at this, man. Look at, bro, what is going on? Oh, bro, this is bad. This is bad. All right, what's happening, my gang? It's your boy, Mazzy, man. We, well, we not actually back. You know what I'm saying? It's the same video, <laughs> different day, man. Uh, yesterday, we couldn't get the couldn't, couldn't get the video done like one, two, so we're going to go ahead and get it knocked out now. Uh, speaking of, I need to go ahead and upload another video, too, that I was supposed to be doing. But um, we're going to go ahead and get straight to it, man. So, Everybody asked me to do one of these videos, bro. I had a lot of people request and say, do one of these videos, do one of these videos. So, I'm going to finally do one of these videos, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Everybody asked me to do, like, the whole top speed video. You know what I'm saying? Make it doing your top speed. I'm trying to see what is my top speed right now, currently. Let me see what we got out here. What we, what we record at right now, man? I don't even know where to freak. 163. That's, a, that's high. I think my last one was like one, I think my last one, I don't remember what my last one was, 163, that's, that's tough, that's tough. So, I'm gonna try to beat that today. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to beat it today. So, you know what I'm saying? And good thing for me, luckily, you know what I'm saying? I stay right, I, I, I live literally right next to Mexico. You know what I'm saying? That's the best part about it. But I might go ahead and shoot over to Dubai. Dubai probably like 10, 15 minutes away from me. So I might go over there, man, and, and test this out and see, you know, and see if I can put these special effects together and see if I can actually, you know what I'm saying? Come close or beat. Now, I'm aiming to beat this top speed. Now, there's not a lot of long roads in Mexico to where you can just really just stretch out like that. So, I'm going to try to see if I can um, at least come close to it. That's the goal. The goal is to be at least in the in the 160. That's the goal. 160 is the goal. But if I can knock out 170, hey, Jack, we're going to be a good run. So I'm gonna tell them as soon as we get to Mexico, we're gonna, we gonna test this out. I don't stay far from it. So yeah, I ain't gotta worry about it. All right, so as you can see, 163 is my current top of the speed. But let's go over here and go to rocket ship mode. Let's go to rocket ship mode and hit that custom. For me, I learned this. Um, why does it look like the same as my, uh, no. Well, I haven't done my custom, okay? My transmission need to be on. All right, we'll leave it there for now. But on my last one, I had my stuff already set up. I guess I never set up, and it's my I set it up later. But uh, we are in rocket ship mode as of right now. So we finna go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and change this thing right now. Nope, go back to rocket ship mode. Uh, track. There you go. Now my suspension, like I said, it's stuck in street mode because I, I nicked that wire, but I mean, it kind of is what it is. So let's go back. So as you can hear, I got like a little snap crackling property right now. Yeah, you hear that snap crackle? I'm gonna see if we can't, uh. Ooh. Are we at 40? Let's hit it. Oh, hit the traction, hit the traction. Okay. All right. 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. All right. Okay, well, calm down, baby. Just knock that over. Let's go ahead and slap you in eco mode for right now until you can cool down. All right. So that one, as y'all can see from the speedometer, that was probably that was good. That was probably a good 161, 162. I didn't have it over for obvious reasons, you know what I'm saying? But that was a good 161, 162. But that's a good thing. I live real close to Mexico, you know what I'm saying? So I can go ahead and test it out like that. But uh, I had to slap it in Eco Mo. I learned that man from a, a guy that raced. He pretty much taught me that. Cause this pretty much allows the car to kind of cool down. If I'm wrong, you know what I'm saying? All y'all real racing, y'all let me know if I'm wrong. But from what I learned, whenever you get done doing like a big pull like that, you slap it over in eco mode, it kind of allows the whole engine to pretty much cool down. You know what I'm saying? Using less gas, using less power, so it allows the engine to cool down as a whole. So um, that's what I learned. That's what I was taught. You know what I'm saying? I know like a lot of people, a lot of people that be watching these videos, they can't wait to find something. Oh, he said that wrong. That's not true. If I'm wrong, hey, say I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never said I came in the game saying I knew every everything. Most of the stuff I learned from watching and picking up and just growing, the, you know, over the days. But uh, this is definitely going to be something that is going to be super, super crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do another one. But like I said, I had to learn. I learned that. So right now I'm letting the engine cool down. So we might do we might do one more. Might. We might do one more day. So, y'all stay tuned. What you doing, baby? <laughs> Look at that. Come on, let's go inside. So uh, I'm taking my baby to the museum. Um, I, I gotta do some fun, my baby. I can't just pick up and not do nothing. We gotta have some fun. We gotta tear some stuff up. You know how we get at. Boo -boo. Then we got a doctor's appointment in the morning. Trying to be the best dad I can be. Man, look at the... Bro, imagine living with one of these and... Boy, and... what is that? Well, imagine being alive and you see this like walking down the street. <laughs> Boy, I know, bro, I cannot do that. All right, so uh, this is officially, man, my last video of 2020. I uh, had this year has been a crazy year, bro, because this year is what officially started off for me. I've been through an absolute lot, bro, in this entire year, man. Um, from the beginning of the year, losing my job, getting fired, whatever you want to call it, uh, <laughs> which was crazy, bro, because that's a lot of ways I could have went with it. Uh, and I just spoke about it on my live not too long ago, but, man, in the year of 2021, don't look at no problem, or no, I ain't gonna say problem, don't look at no obstacle you come through as a problem. Find the opportunity in it. That's how you're gonna get through a lot of it because it's, this is life, bro. Life is what a living, nothing's perfect, nothing stays perfect, everything has its ups and its downs. Uh, so you can go through every emotion because you're gonna experience a lot. I don't care how good something starts off or how rough something may start off, but understand this life is gonna happen. So. In that moment, in those down moments, you have to find the opportunity in those down moments. That's what's going to keep you going, even when you're not getting results that you feel like you should get or want to get. You have to find the opportunity in it. I don't care if whatever it is, you, your relationship, life, career, uh, starting a business, your job, losing weight, whatever it is you're doing or trying to do, you're going to experience some bad times. You feel me? Some rough moments. But find the opportunity. Find where you can gain or learn knowledge or wherever you can grow in the experience, you feel me? So from that moment when I got fired, I could have just took that as an opportunity and I could have got down on myself, got depressed, stressed, oh man, I done got fired, blah, blah, blah. But I found the opportunity in it, which was to go full-fledged my career. So I, I took that as a chance anyway. But going through that, man, going through corona, uh, going through getting into a rig, almost losing my life, then going to get a new car and my career is going and creating the podcast, the clothing line. It's just, it's so much blessings that happened in this year, but it was rough. And like I said at the beginning, I said this at the beginning of this year, 
2020 was gonna be a year of clear vision. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna be allowed to see if they choose to. Everybody's gonna be allowed to see wherever they felt like they needed to see. Whatever people were good for you, whatever was good opportunities, bad opportunities, you're gonna learn a lot in this year. You feel me? You're gonna lose a lot of people, but it was all part of the process. So now the 2021 is gonna come around. Everything that you have worked for and prayed for in 2020 is gonna manifest in this upcoming year. So it's crazy going through that and that this is officially the last video that of my 20 of 2020 period. So in this upcoming year, man, figure out who you want to be and stick to it. Everything is about your perspective, how you view it, how you see it, because it's, none of it's going to be easy. It's never going to be easy. It wasn't meant to be easy. If it was easy, everybody and mom would be doing it, but because it's not, it's not easy. It's difficult, yes, but it's worth it. It's worth every step. All the blood, sweat, and tears I done put into my career, into this life, it's, it's, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's because I live this life that I don't go through struggles, that I go through hard times, I do. But it's about my perspective, how I carry myself to make sure I'm getting through these days. You feel me? Because like I said, everything is going with this life. And, you know, it, it happens on the just and the unjust. You know, it, it, it is what it is. But everybody has a choice on how they choose to handle it. You know, some people can, like I said, you can look at it as a bad time and think about all the bad things that's going on, or you can look at it as an opportunity and figure out what you can learn and what you can pull out of this, you know what I'm saying? Because you're supposed, to, you're supposed to grow through struggles, not go through struggles. You're supposed to grow, G-R-O-W, grow, you feel me? So, <laughs> man, I appreciate y'all though, man. 2020 is officially a dub, it's over with. Uh, but nobody's promised to see the next day. So be proud of the person that you are, the person that you become. If you're not proud, don't wait until the new year hits for you to start. Oh, well, let me get this together. Let me do this. Let me, I want to change it. Be that person now. Start now working on that person so you can go into the new year being a new person. Don't do that whole new year, new me, because I feel like that nobody really lives up to it because that just gives you more time to procrastinate and BS around. So be the person that you said you want to be regardless of this new year. Regardless of what the time frame is, you feel me? Be that person because that's what you want to be, not because it's New Year. You know, everybody come with these New Year's resolutions that really don't matter. Everybody, and it, it happens all the time. If people that really go to the gym, you know, you see it. And the first, people tell you the first two months in the gym are beyond packed. But you start to see the people that's really about it because after, after February hit, people start falling out the gym. By the time you get down to the summertime, it's back to the regular people that be in the gym because people that have these little New Year's resolutions, and they, they don't last long because it's just it's, it's exactly it. They ain't got no meaning behind it. It's all everybody making their New Year's resolutions in the house. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And they don't stick to it, man. So be proud of the person you are. Understand you're going to make mistakes, but it's life. It happens. Take into perspective of everything that you want to be. Understand life is going to be rough. It's going to be tough, but it's worth it. Anything you want to do in your life, is worth. It's prom I promise it's worth it. Stick to it. Don't bring your 2020 baggage into 2021. Anything that's a negative bag, get rid of it. Any bad habit you don't like, get rid of it. It's a new year. Accept this. Keep moving forward. I promise. I'm here with you. I'm proud of you. If nobody else told you they're proud of you, I'm proud of you. We're going through 2021 together. And y'all already know we're taking over 2021 as well. 2020 was what it was, but 2021 finna be a movie. You feel me? So I appreciate each and every last one of y'all. If you subscribe to me in 2021, I really do appreciate you for rocking with your boy. Stay in tune. Understand 2021 is finna be a freaking, it's finna be wild, bro. I can't tell y'all everything I got going on. You know, you gotta move in silence, but I can drop y'all a little, you understand me? But just stay tuned, man, because it's finna get real, real crazy. Y'all know in every last one of my videos, so whoever told you the sky limit, they lied to you because we know absolutely no limit whatsoever, man. Let's get this money. Ah.